Welcome to Walmart. Well, this is interesting. Uh, 19 miles, 28 minutes, 314 watt hours per mile. What? I was just getting under 250 on the toll road, and now I'm getting 314. Although I guess there's some elevation gain, maybe. All right. So anyway, uh, I couldn't start FST right away because. Um, if it, uh, navigation wanted to go down to Texas 45 and I didn't want to go south, I wanted to go north. All right, so I came out on uh, Gaskell Road and went north on the front road and merged onto uh, 130 and uh, gradually navigation caught up with me, so I turned on FSD. So that's all good. All right, so um, actually uh, going through um, I want to say going through the toll plaza getting off 130 to go on to university the car pretty much knew exactly where to go it was pretty it was nerve-wracking but at the same time it was impressive to watch it do its thing so um I have some newfound faith in uh, that part of it anyway um so coming down university was my first opportunity to be following a car and coming to a, coming to a stop behind him. Uh, for some reason, it feels like FSD is rushing it right now. I don't I don't know if uh, do I need to set it back to chill. I don't know. But uh, I've no I noticed that several times coming down University in 1431 is the car would be rush would be rushing when you should be letting off the accelerator and coasting, so to speak. Um, and and I, don't, I don't mean, you know, just a little bit to give you the feeling that you're slowing down. No, it's like he's still on the accelerator going hard, full core. And uh, no, that's not appropriate this time. Um, I, don't, I don't know. It, it's not something that I'm measuring at this time. Um, but I did the one time it was it was just too aggressive and I braked yes now sure enough I had to get over because that car was going slower oh as soon as you saw that black mile three behind him oh, oh, oh okay I get it that's fine um, and the, and and uh, from for some reason navigation didn't really indicate what lane to be on in on uh, crossing I-35 um, maybe he doesn't know I don't I don't know as it turns out I think it's, it's the inside lane is going to turn on to I-35 and the middle and outside lanes are going to stay on 1431 at least that's the way I did it I'm not sure if that's absolutely the best or correct way, but it works for me. Um, it would be nice if navigation knew that combination because usually he overtells me stuff. And this is just knowing those places where the place where I need help. Uh, anybody home? Hello? Why, what do you mean he went to lunch? We're driving now. The one, yeah, anyway, the one place I could use a little more help, and it's not there. Um, which makes you wonder, okay. Now, to be fair, FSD indicated it wanted to switch the middle lane to follow route. It's just if navigation had shown that on, shown that me on, shown that to me on the map, I would have felt more comfortable with it. Or would have understood it better. Okay, whatever. Fine. It's just the way it is sometimes. You know, navigation is also a work in process. Especially in the Austin area. So many changes. All the time. When you come down to university, all of a sudden it says, oh, we're going to turn right to get on university. What? I'm on university. So it's one of those things where it doesn't know the lay of the land so to speak anyway whatever peace and harmony it's all good um 
I also had a situation where because of the way FSD is tra is is well, it's going up against its max speed set by the driver. Um, so he's he's having a hard time creating the separation he needs to create to get to the outside lane. Um, and yeah, the, 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 there's two cars there, and they're both playing. They may not be intentionally playing games, but the end result is they're like playing games. Um, finally, I got a spot where the second car backed off a little bit, so there was room. Brake on, FST off, switch lanes. And then, because we're right people, no, that's not fair. I did reinvoke FST. Oh, yeah. Okay, so FST's having a real hard problem coming into Walmart. It's, uh, he, 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 he. First of all, you need to slow down a little bit. Okay, don't, don't come in road racing it or California road raging it. You need to come in a little bit slower, make a nice gentle turn, and then come up the hill. The, the 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 idea of coming up the hill seems to be really throwing him and so it's creating a problem. Anyway, whatever, break on FC off, continue route manually. So yeah, that's just one of those things. Although I think that that is he created a date he created a dangerous situation in that he was going straight for a curve. So okay, we'll we'll I'll, I'll check the score. Okay, home, James. Okay, so that last section was brought to you by Retired Road Racer. How do you know his Retired Road Racer? He's smooth, he's competent, he doesn't make sudden moves. I mean, there were times when it was a little bit jerky. I don't know what was going on there, but um, maybe he's training somebody. Anyway, 20 miles, 36 minutes, 255 watt hours per mile. Um, FSD perspective. So coming out of Walmart, uh, I got it started down the one hip, the one part of the downhill before it turns right and goes downhill again. Um, FSD handle all that. When he came out, he wasn't quite sure how to interpret the traffic. So just give him a little accelerator and he goes. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen in the future with Robo Taxi there, but we'll see. Um, so coming up 1431, we're in the outside lane. At some point, FSD says it wants to be in the middle lane. Okay, cool, awesome. Go ahead. So we end up staying in the middle lane Oh my goodness. We stay in the middle of the way all the way past Jonestown. Okay, well, part of that is traffic. For some reason, half the, half the world, it's not half the world, but there's a bunch of traffic. All, all the way almost to, almost to Jonestown. Oh, what's going on? It was a long parade. But anyway, peace and harmony, it's okay. Um, Anyway, no, no FSD issues along any of this. Just following the traffic, just going along. Um, that's not quite... Where, where'd that cop... So at some point, there was a Travis County deputy who uh, had, came by with his sirens uh, going, his lights flashing. Um, it seems to me this was right towards the west end of Jonestown. No, it was before that. It's on the east side of Jonestown, actually. Anyway, everybody moved over, let him go. It's on the west side. Never mind. Yeah, it's the west side. So, um, some guy in a pickup in front of me was like, well, I don't know how to drive anymore. I'm scared. In the meantime, a guy with a pickup from Louisiana in, in the inside lane, he's going up the hill like, okay, I don't know what the problem is. I'm driving a Chevy. Well, the other guy's driving a Chevy too. I don't know. Just scared. Oh, I gotta admit, when I saw the cop go by, the deputy go by with his lights flashing, 
I was thinking he might be on his way to an accident that would shut down the whole road. Fortunately, he wasn't. He was going somewhere else. I mean, thank goodness for that. Um, so anyway, I don't, there, no, there's nothing going on. So, um, I catch up to some traffic and, uh, it's, it's sometimes it's easy, rather in trying to work with FSD to keep a consistent rhythm, it's a lot easier to just drive yourself sometimes. And so I do that for ways. Okay. So we get down to the traffic light. I mean, it, it, it's, it's people are speeding up and they're slowing down. And, and sometimes you're just hoping that there's a little opening so you can move over and go by them. Um, and we're so close several times, but it never happened. Not that FST could handle that. But anyway, whatever, peace and army. Um, so anyway, we, we, we get in the turn lane for, for Loman Ford. And it turns out, uh, I didn't tell you this, Mr. Mr. Corvette, who, who uh, wants to go speed limit unless somebody's crowding him like a black Model 3. And then all of a sudden he's going like a bat out of hell. And then he remembers that, oh, that's right, a, a deputy went by. And so it's down the speed limit again. Like, oh, come on. Come on. Pick, pick, your, pick your way. Either you're afraid that he pulled over somewhere after he passed your Corvette, and believe me, I, I'm sure he was tempted. Um, of course, you might say the same thing about a black Model 3. But anyway, whatever. Um, so anyway, he, he gets stopped at the red light, and I'm stopped behind him. I re-invoke FSD. Uh, FSD troops up the, uh, troops up Lumen Ford, no problem. I, I, don't, I don't know who fixed it, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I am so much happier. I don't have to hear California Road Rager go on about how he wants to turn. Okay? We're, we're, we're in the inside lane. We stay in the inside lane. Beautiful. Perfecto. Just the way it should be. Now, there may have been a couple people behind me like, Oh, I wanted to go faster. Okay, well, uh, too bad. Sorry, you can always go around to the right. In fact, one person, they were going to go around to the right. Well, they were in the outside lane, but a person turned in front of them, so they had to stop, wait for the car to turn, and then they came storming up. And yes, they wanted to get in front of me. Figures. Um, okay, whatever. So, as I said, we have reti retired road racer running, driving today, or at least part of it, and so banging around uh, the corner to, to turn on to a boggy Ford. Beautiful. Maybe not fast, but beautiful. Okay, good. Awesomeness. I'm loving this. Um, coming coming down boggy Ford. No problems, no issues. Um, for those of you who need to know such things, uh, apparently Lago Vista has hired a at least one new police officer, maybe two, because uh, now they usually have somebody parked in various places along uh, along Boggy Ford. But anyway, whatever. I mean, you shouldn't. You really shouldn't be speeding there anyway. That's stupid. I mean, you have deer. I mean, we're in a place where people feed the deer, and the deer are wild, so they just they just walk across the road, right? So if you're going too fast. You're going to run to a deer. Right? You're going to tear your car up. Get, or, or if you have a, a cow catcher, I mean, you, you at least get the cow catcher all bloody. Right? And you come home and you kill, oh, you killed the deer. Oh my God, you killed Bambi. Oh. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. All right. So, uh, coming down Santa Rosa. Yeah, for some reason, construction crews don't know how to get off the road. Um, so they like parking on the road. Wonderful. Going the wrong way, no less. Uh, anyway, FSD handle it, no problem. 
I mean, he, he might have gone just a touch faster, and I might have liked seeing as we're going the wrong way on, on the other side of the road. But whatever, he handled it. So uh, that part's all good. Um, I was thinking there was something else on the previous section, but I've kind of forgotten what it is. Because I've already talked about how I was getting nervous about the braking. Um, I already talked about the navigation issue. So I, I don't, I'm not sure what else it would be. But anyway, there you go. Um, oh, did I mention uh, pulling? Yeah, I, I mentioned the pulling into Walmart. Um, no, I said I had to go look up that grade part. But anyway, the the side, the second part of this this journey was pretty good. Onward up or charge. Okay, for so for this afternoon's trip back from Pedo, I mean, most all of it's good. I mean, just like the past few days now, like, wow, all of a sudden it's so much better. Kind of like they tied up California Road Rager and, and uh, had a retired road racer take more a more active role, which is actually what I would want from FSD. Um, so that part's good. All right. So, but I hate to say bad things when things are so good, but there is that one section coming in, coming in. Well, we're not even to coming in Walmart. I mean, it's a, uh, a Wendy's and a mobile gas station there. And so it's almost like the, the other day when it did is like, I wanted to go to Wendy's and, and the same thing today. It's almost like, it wants to go to Wendy's. Is Wendy's where we're going? No. In fact, I, I have a pin dropped in the parking lot where I want to go. And and um, that's just not cutting it for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, what FSD did was it made it unsafe traffic move without impacting other vehicles that's a grade of d so that's what we're going to end up we're going to end up with a d i mean if i had taken it off of fsd before making that turn yeah it would have got it would have got an a but still it's 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 the bad things that hold us back right so there you go. So the grade for today, for uh, this trip is a D.